scaling is a challenge for many businesses. The reason why it's a challenge is because they are not ready for scaling. Let's look at a couple of examples. Now, you can only scale if your systems are in place. Okay, so imagine you're working in your business and you have a lot of work to do and you think, okay, but now let's scale this. So how can you scale yourself like that? You can't. You've got to be out of that situation where you, you don't work in the business. You can work on the business. Then you can scale. So if you deliver things physically yourself or st still work physically yourself in a business, you cannot really scale that. Right? You don't have more, enough time to scale. Right? Then the second problem that you must be aware of before scaling is that a cash flow problem. If you have cash flow problems, don't scale the, those cash flow problems because that's literally what you do with scaling. You scale whatever you have got. So you want to have an optimized business model before you scale. The optimized business model includes that your cash flow, you don't have that issue. Uh, in terms of complexities in your business, imagine scaling complexities. How complicated do you want it? Times 20. Things must be simple. The systems must be in place. You mustn't have complexity problems. You must not have performance problems. In other words, you must be able to duplicate things without having challenges doing so. Right? Then you are ready for scaling. Okay, so are you ready for scaling? That's the question. So when you are ready for scaling, then your business model is the next thing we look at. We look at if your business model is right and your financial model is right. So if your financial model can facilitate the scaling, in other words, you do make a profit, you do have positive cash flow, um, you've charged the right pricing in the market, the, the clients are seeing the value, now you can scale. So what, does the, what kind of systems do you think or, or scaling strategies do you think you can put in place? Scaling strategy, for example, uh, franchising. Okay, that's one of the examples, licensing, franchising, depending on your business model. That's why I said when you, in one of the previous videos that I've made, is you have to really think about scaling before, when you plan your business, before you start it. So did you know that you are testing the right things in your business model? So when we talk about scaling is, what does that business model look like, right? Did you validate all of the business model um, elements in that, or factors and elements and assumptions you've made in that business model, are they all true? If so, you can scale. So I don't know what your assumptions are. I don't know what were your tests that you had to do. But every one section of those nine sections in your business model canvas is one of the areas that you need to test. And there might be several things that you need to test. So if you've tested everything and the next thing and everything works and then you can grow your business and see if you can replicate it, which is a business level two on an entrepreneurial level, a leadership levels and associated complexity model is when you replicate the tests is level two. And then you implement systems to, to capture those replications, to capture your results so that you can scale and duplicate them on level four. Now, on level four, when you are scaling, so one thing is the, the, the franchising, licensing, you can even go on the digital media platforms to, um, for example, depending on your kind of business, maybe you do educational material, you can scale with electronic medium by using learning management portals and things like that, which is a system. You might need people to help you facilitate and build courses. So you need people as well. You can't just scale on your own in some of these business models. So what is your business model like? And what does the scaling activities look like when you want to scale? And those are the things you are going to implement when you are scaling. So your business model is critical before you scale. You don't want to scale a loss. You don't want to scale problems like uh, uh, performance problems and complexity problems. You don't want to scale those. You want to scale a profit, you want to scale simplicity, and you want to scale your value proposition to get to more clients in a simple, easy way without friction. 
So looking back at your business, what constraints are there in your business that can cause you to battle with scaling or to prevent you from scaling? What are those constraints in your business? Focus on the first thing you see, the biggest one, get that sorted out, right? Get that out of the way. Then you go to the next one and next one and next one. So go and look back at your business. What are the constraints? I always ask someone if they come with a great idea. I say, how does it look like when you've got a thousand clients in one day? How does that kind of thing look like for you? How busy will you be? What do you need to do in order to facilitate that? So that's one question I normally ask in order to test them if they can scale with their idea. And then normally we then adjust the idea so that they can actually scale it. But these thinkings actually starts when? When we start, before you start a business. And if you already started, you can relook them. There's no problem with that. But it's quite faster if you actually start from, from the beginning and, and, and test certain things. And then you say, okay, right now, let's build this business. Then you can get very fast um, to the scaling stage of your business. You can do it quite fast. But then you just need to know what your business model is like when you scale before you start.